Battlefield 1 has been out for almost a week now and some of us are still waiting to purchase the game. Hey guys, it's me Tactical Recon here and uh, today I have a video for you guys on the things that I'm mostly looking forward to in Battlefield 1. Let's get started. Now just before we get started on this commentary, uh, just a quick note on the gameplay here. What you're seeing is Battlefield 4 obviously. Uh, but what is actually pretty special about this, it is it's on ultra at 60 frames per second on the PC. And uh, you may be wondering how the hell did you manage to purchase a computer this fast? Well, luckily one of my good friends, Phoenix Impact, was actually kind enough to give me this gameplay to use for this video. I gotta say though that this is the first time I've ever seen PC footage of any Battlefield before. And this is really wanting me to switch to PC as this looks absolutely amazing. I really do want to post the rest of this gameplay, uh, but I'll probably have to ask him if he's a-okay with that because, uh, you know, maybe he might not want the rest of the gameplay on this channel or anything like that. So I have to make sure that he's okay with me posting the rest of the gameplay on my channel. And that's because I think this gameplay is absolutely fantastic. I, I mean, I believe that he hits a couple of clips in there uh in a couple of minutes i'm not so sure about that but this gameplay is absolutely phenomenal and it will be absolutely fantastic if i can share the rest of the clip with you guys this gameplay actually makes me think that the future of gaming is on the pc but well that was until i heard the price of it so i'm going to be sticking to my good old xbox one using the most powerful processor of all time which is the intel pentium <laughs> I'm kind of getting sidetracked here, so I think that we should get back to the video. The traditional Battlefield campaigns have always revolved around a protagonist of which the story revolves around. But whether it may be Sergeant Blackburn from Battlefield 3 or Wrecker from Battlefield 4, Battlefield 1 is truly an exception to this rule. You see, in Battlefield 1 you have war stories where essentially you follow soldiers of different factions. A kind of a bummer to this is that you actually never play as a German soldier which is something that I've been looking forward to in this game and uh, I've heard that there's a Russian extension that has been confirmed and hopefully that means that the German extension comes as well in the future as this is one of those perspectives that are rarely ever shown in video games these days. In addition to that I'm actually really not a huge fan of this concept because I feel like it won't give us players enough time to really connect with these characters that we're putting our shoes into, but I'm already sure I'll have to wait and see until I get the game in my hands, of course. The sniping. I was actually just in a conversation with Phoenix Impact the other day, and we kind of discussed how we both thought about sniping in Battlefield 1 based on our experience on the whole beta and alpha versions of the game. And what is actually pretty interesting about this is that he felt that, uh, well, at least from what I recall, which is that the sniping in Battlefield 1 feels more solid than in previous games due to the high bullet velocities and whatnot. But me, on the other hand, I felt like the sniping was a lot more accurate in Battlefield 4. And I think this is because actually the scopes in Battlefield 1 don't have the distance markers that you actually have in Battlefield 4 when you scoped in, which kind of helped for those long range distance encounters. But once again, I'm already sure at this point, the game might have changed since the beta. And, uh, but my decision still can change when I get the hands on the final game of Battlefield 1. And finally, the new operations game mode. Now Battlefield 1 will include the classic game modes as well as a new game mode called Operations. Now in Operations, you wage war across several maps and runs an interconnected series of battles. And the, the way that I can easily describe this is that Operations Game Mode is like Rush and Conquest had a baby. And that the baby represents Operations, of course. Now, personally, this Game Mode seems like something that could potentially kill Rush in this game, as it appears to be a better version of it. I just got a chance to check out Operations just the other day, and from what I can tell, which is that... Operation seems like a much much more objective oriented game mode in Battlefield 1 than Rush is, which is kind of a problem since Rush has always had that objective feel to it. I mean that's personally some people may 
feel like uh, Conquest had that title, but for me, Rush has always been a sort of game mode, and it actually feels as if it's a much, much better version of Rush, which may affect playlist populations, but we have to wait and see. The game is still new, it's about a week old now, so I don't think the population difference would be that much noticeable at this point in time. Well, there you have it, folks. These are my top three things that I'm looking forward to in Battlefield 1. Obviously, there are more things. I mean, I'm generally interested in the whole entire game as this is probably the best game I've played this entire year, uh, excluding Halo 5 Guardians because that was just trash. But anyways, guys, thank you for watching this video right here. This has been Tactical Recon here, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Next up, I plan to upload a new video on uh, 343 Industries again, because the recent feedback that I got from my previous video it just says out loud that I need to make a new video on this. And this will be based on things that I think that 343 Industries needs to do to get on a good uh, sort of side with the Halo community and what exactly step by step they need to do so that Halo is safe because at the current trajectory that we're seeing here with the Halo series I mean probably not going to die off soon but a huge number of its fan base is going to drop due to the recent management that's been happening here with uh, 343 Industries but anyway I'll be saving that story for the later video if you enjoyed this video be sure to leave a like and if you didn't like it well like it anyway and uh, if you feel like subscribing, be sure to subscribe for more details on Battlefield 1. I actually plan on, well, eventually when I get the game, doing a campaign walkthrough, maybe a Road to Commander sort of series there with Battlefield 1 if I have time, you know, me with my uh, unusual schedule with this channel. But I do promise I will be back soon on this channel within a couple of days or so. But thank you so much for watching this video. It's been Wape here, and uh, thank you so much for listening. Until then, Wape out.